Hello everybody, um, it's June here, how are you all doing? Um, I am sorry if I uh, am a bit all over the place today um, and uh, also if my eyes look like they're in the back of my head um, I just didn't have good sleep last night and I've had a very intense time uh, in work over the last few days so uh, oh I shed a few tears this morning over something very sad so and that's why my eyes look weird <laughs> So anyway, to cheer myself up, I'm going to do a um, little video, or two perhaps. The first one is a haul. It's quite small. It's, um, it, uh, it's, a, it's I suppose there are some extravagances <laughs> included in it, but in terms of the number of items I have to show you, it's quite small. Um, I was in Dublin the weekend before last uh, with a friend of mine, and we just did the rounds of the um, kind of uh, nice shops and uh, came away with a few goodies. So um, not necessarily things I needed or whatever, but just things that just come. So I'm just gonna show you now what I got. Um, first thing I went to the Avida counter um, in uh, one of the um, department stores. Um, my hair has been really dry lately. I color my hair about every six weeks. But I recently dyed it really dark brown, which is kind of close to my natural colour, but a little bit darker. And um, I'm just not sure that that dye was the kindest uh, to my hair. And I do use the Moroccan oil, but I still find that the ends are getting very dry. So I went to the Aveda counter because I use the Aveda Scalp Solutions Shampoo and Conditioner, um, which keeps me free of dandruff. And the, the girl at the counter suggested I use this, which is the Aveda Dry Remedy. Now it's um, it's got Bariti oil in it, whichever whatever that is, um, but it absolutely smells just gorgeous. It's just got a gorgeous smell. The Vida stuff is so beautiful. So this will probably last me for a long time because you'll only use it maybe once a week and you just use a tiny amount. So I haven't used it yet, but I am gonna use it soon because I wanna put it in and leave it in overnight or for a few hours anyway. So um, that'll have to be sort of a weekend job, I think. So that's that. Um, then I toddled into another department store and I bumped into the Guerlain counter. And I have been sort of circling around the Guerlain counter for a long time going, oh, you know, I love, <laughs> I just love the look of the cosmetics in, at this counter, but they are expensive and I've been trying not to buy anything. Um, but I'm afraid, I'm sorry, my resolve just melted. Um, I, I went over and I started looking at the eyeshadow palettes and um, I've seen these online before and I thought, oh, they just look gorgeous. They look totally opulent and in, indulgent. Um, and I went and looked at the colors and I fell in love with one of the palettes and I ended up buying it. Now, this was outrageously expensive. It was 75 euro or something like that. Um, but what you get is this beautiful metallic palette. Now this is heavy, it's metal, so it's really heavy. And it's got this beautiful filigree pattern on it here. And then you open it up, and inside you have a very nice, an actual usable brush. And the, um, I'll just polish it a bit so it looks a bit nicer. Um, You've got the palette inside, and then you just open it up. Then, and inside are the beautiful eyeshadows. So, I'll just let you see colors, they are gorgeous and they're so soft. They're soft, they're pigmented, they don't kick up any dust. They're, they're just beautiful. They don't, they mightn't show up all that well because they are very neutral colors. Um, Maybe not the best palette for summer, but really nice for everyday wear, you know. And then there's this really nice highlight colour here, soft kind of pink with a little bit of shimmer. And then there's this um, really intense, gorgeous um, black uh, shadow as well to use as a liner. So it's quite a multi-use product. I like the fact that it, they are neutral colours. You know, you can sort of convince yourself that this is worth buying because you could use that every day if you wanted to. Not that I can because I have so much, so many other eyeshadows to use anyway. But sod it. You know, I said, look, 
I'm gonna do this eventually. I might as well do it now. <laughs> so um, that was my that was my most extravagant purchase um, in a long time. So that was that. Um, then I went into another little shop where they sell Lime Crime lipsticks and. Lime Crime have now come out with some eye products. They have some loose eyeshadows um, in very bright colours. And they also have uh, this here, which is the um, uh, Lime Crime Candy Eyed Eyeshadow Helper, which is a primer. Now I'd heard that this is very good. You get seven grams, which will last a long time. And there it is there, so it's just a pigmented thing. Now it's breaking away from the edges a little bit there, so I hope it's not drying out. I haven't touched it so far, I haven't used it, so I don't know how good it is, but I have heard very good um, reviews on this primer, so I decided I would pick that up. Then I went into MAC, of course, I, I could not pass the MAC shop, because I had to buy a new mineralized skin finish natural anyway, so this is in medium, mine is almost gone, so I picked up a new one of those. And I also picked up two more eyeshadows from the permanent line, which I'm trying to um, I'm trying to collect those in their entirety at the moment. So I bought this one, which is bronze. And bronze is just um, oh, let's see if I have any more swatch fingers left. Bronze is just a lovely, semi kind of shimmery bronze. It's not totally. It's got a really nice texture. It's like a satin or. It doesn't say what the finish is on this, but I really like it. It's just, um, it's got a nice pigment in it, but it's it's subtle, you know, I like that. And also uh, Blanc Type, which is a matte squared as far as I'm aware. And it's just a really gorgeous kind of pinky cream color. So that's that. So that's what I bought in MAC. Um, I also bought my friend uh, a technical liner in, um, Grey, what's the shade? Can't remember. Anyway, I gave it away to her. Then I went into yet another shop and I got a couple of nail polishes. Um, these were in Booth's Pharmacy actually in uh, in Dublin. So I got two models own colours. Uh, this one is uh, Stark Naked. This is a limited edition models own pro and it's a sort of uh, nude with a little bit of kind of gold shimmer. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it's gorgeous. That's a lovely color. And this one, which is amazing, and this is in pinky pearl, and it's just the most amazing color. It's like, um, it's like, uh, it's pink and it's, and it's coral and it's gold all at the same time. And it's amazing. I wore that, I had it on my nails for three or four days and I got no chipping and one coat was just enough. So it's an excellent nail polish, love that. Another one I bought was from Nails Inc. and it's in Porchester Square, is the shade, and it's just a nude cream. So just a nude cream, a bit boring, but it's nice. So that, was, uh, that wasn't everything I bought. One more item I bought, I went to the Catrice counter in um, one of my, uh, one of the big department stores in Ireland sells Catrice in some of their branches. And I bought this beautiful lipstick. This is from their Ultimate Shine. It's 30, which is rose and gum. And um, it's just a lovely kind of metallic, metallic rosy pink. Their lipsticks are amazing. So I bought that. So that was that. So that's my little haul. Um, not totally exciting, but it was enough to <laughs> enough to satisfy my urges anyway for a little while. I'm trying not to buy too much makeup at the moment because um, my collection is astonishingly big. As you know, if you've watched my collection video, way, way more makeup than I have any business to have. And um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to use up stuff. So that's really all. I'm going to try and record my weekly picks video now um, before it gets too late. And... Um, I hope you're all well. Thanks a million for watching and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.